A checkpoint is a temporary blockade of a roadway in order to stop motorists for the purpose of an investigation or inspection. Also called roadblocks, there are several types of checkpoints that the Supreme Court has recognized as allowed by the Constitution. However, police do not receive blanket authority to operate checkpoints. They are, after all, warrantless and suspicionless seizures, so there will be a burden on the government to justify the actions of law enforcement at these checkpoints. For example, one feature of a checkpoint is randomness. Police have limited discretion in who to stop. If you're not traveling on the road at a particular uh, checkpoint is located, they cannot stop you. If officers apply profiling techniques to the checkpoint and only stop a certain type of individual, the checkpoint could be declared unconstitutional. One of the most well-known checkpoints that the Constitution allows is the border checkpoint. The court recognizes a significant government interest to curtail the flow of illegal immigration, the flow of drugs, or other kinds of contraband into the country. So brief border detentions are allowed. In addition to border checkpoints, the federal agencies such as Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, are permitted in setting up checkpoints inland from the border to interrupt in, uh, the transport of illegal immigrants who may have made it past the border. DWI checkpoints are fairly common. The court has upheld warrantless and suspicionless stops to detect individuals who are driving while intoxicated. And finally, there's a limited use of a criminal investigation checkpoint. Officers operating these checkpoints are not investigating the drivers being stopped, but are asking questions related to crimes that may have occurred in that same particular area where we put up the checkpoint. For the most part, checkpoints involve very brief interruptions. Under the circumstances that we have listed here, law enforcement are able to perform these limited functions. Outside these functions, individuals are protected by the Fourth Amendment.